Hello friends! Today, I've got a little gift from Sony. This incredible Pelican case, there's some little goodies inside, but they've also sent over a review unit of the new Sony A1. This is Sony's brand new flagship camera in an all new category. This is their first camera into the introduction of 8K Sony mirrorless hyped about this, but I'm also really excited about the Sony Xperia Pro phone they also announced alongside of the A1. This is a very, very expensive phone. We're talking $2,500, but this is something that is geared towards professionals, towards creators, and this is not only a phone, but it can be used as a field monitor, also for incredibly fast transfer speeds using 5G. So I can basically use this as a 4K monitor, and I can even, you know, do a really high quality 8K live stream somewhere that supports 8K live streaming. This is purely gonna be just an unboxing of the phone and the new A1, and also the surprise mystery Pelican case that Sony sent. I will be doing a follow-up review covering some of the more in-depth features on this, and then I'm gonna be going on a road trip and taking this with me, and I might not come back again, so. I guess stay tuned for that. I want to do this, but I know you guys probably want to see the A1. So let's do this first. My sister actually already unboxed this and she reboxed it for me to unbox. So if things look a little scattered, it's because they are. Here it is. Ooh, this feels, this feels a little heavy. Heavy boy. It definitely feels a little heavier than the A7S III. So obviously the first thing that you're gonna notice about this camera, and which is an unfortunate reality that we are living in right now, is that it does not have a flip out screen, which is one of my favorite features in the A7S III. But this camera is not really geared towards vloggers. This is definitely a higher end camera. Obviously I will love to vlog in 8K. And we have survived many, many years of the flip up screen. So if I do want to use this to vlog, I'm already a seasoned pro. This also has a new faster refresh rate for the viewfinder. There are so many new things about this camera that I'm already kind of overwhelmed. that they have a new focus dial that will allow you to quickly change between the various focus modes. We also have different shooting modes here. And then of course we have all of our pretty much standard controls over here on this dial. So it does have a very similar look to most of the Sony Alpha cameras. Card slots here, we have two CF Express Type A, which are by far the best thing that I have ever experienced. They are so incredibly fast. They did send this with the kit, but this does not come with the actual camera. Here's one of these CF Express Type A cards. I mean, you're getting such incredible fast write speeds. This one is 800 megabytes a second, read and write 700 megabytes a second. <laughs> and you do need this to shoot some of the higher quality content. So you are still able to shoot on some regular SD cards, but honestly, if you're getting this camera, I do definitely recommend at least getting one of these. They are very expensive, but definitely worth saving for. This is their CF Express card reader as well, and it doubles as an SD card reader, which is great because if you are <laughs> traveling with this, you'll not only have an SD card reader, and you'll also have a CF Express Type A. And you're set to go. It's also heavy. It's like this nice, like metallic feeling. It's, a ni it's nice. I love when things are unexpectedly heavy. <laughs> Let's check out this Sony Xperia Pro. I honestly would love to make a review video about this, but anything that I would make would not be worthy because Farouk, one of my friends here on YouTube, his channel's iPhone Do, has made such an incredible video that I, I'm not even gonna bother. Just go watch his. He does some extensive coverage of this. It's incredible. I'm just gonna open it and test it out. Do I have a knife? A uh, she does. She does. Honestly, 
I mean, I feel like I'm kind of jaded because I have tested out so many smartphones over the course of the years. Obviously, I love my iPhone. I love all the new Samsung devices. There's so many incredible phones out there, but this phone is really setting itself apart when it comes to who they're targeting because it is an expensive phone, but this can be a 4K field monitor. So you're able to monitor all of your footage. You're able to control your camera, but it's great because a lot of the field monitors right now, like you, it's really hard to find one that's that high quality. And the fact that this does have 5G, you're able to get really fast data transfer. So with this built-in HDMI port here at the bottom, this phone has so many more use cases than just a normal everyday average cell phone. This is a whole new category. Oh, we have headphones with, mind you, my friends, a headphone jack. And why this is kind of important and very significant for this phone, I know most phones are removing headphone jacks, but you do wanna be able to monitor audio if you're out shooting in a field. So being able to have that, definitely an added bonus. So now that these are both unboxed, I'm gonna set them up, get everything ready to start the actual review video. Can't wait to try this out. And again, this is something that is not geared towards everyone. So when people are complaining on Twitter about how expensive the price is, that's because it's not geared towards you. I mean, yes, everybody would love to have an AK camera, but this is something that is geared towards higher end productions. Because this is shooting an AK, for me, this is going to really add a whole nother element and up the quality of my 4K videos because I don't really plan on posting 8K content here just yet. I still will be exporting in 4K, but since we are able to shoot in 8K, bringing that down to 4K, quality is going to increase significantly. Now, I wanna open up this sweet little gift from Sony. Sony is such an incredible part. They have supported me and my sister in so many of our fun endeavors, so I always love being able to get a chance to review their products and their sweet, sweet surprises. What do we think is gonna be in here? Oh, look at this, a gift. There's something wrapped a gift for me. Oh my goodness. This is so sweet. This is for Maddie. This is for our dog. He has treats. I love this. It's grain free, all natural. He's actually with my sister right now, so he's not gonna get to enjoy these just yet. Oh, a little tag with my name on it. Look how cute that is. That's awesome. Oh, I'm a little jacket. So I can stay warm. Look at me, that's gonna be me. That's gonna be me. Look at that. Look at this. This is so cute. A little Sony Alpha jacket. Let me take out the gift. God, I'm so into Pelican cases now. They've got this really cool insert called a Trek pack, which you can cut and customize and then rearrange each one of the little sections so that you can fit your gear in properly and you can change it up easily. So it's cool because you can buy those inserts separately. So I'm gonna have to get one for this. This is the 1535 and this is the Pelican Air. The weight between the Pelican Air and just like the regular Pelican cases, so significant. I accidentally bought a non-Air. I had to return it, it was too heavy. It was like, you play in. Okay, look at this jacket. It's got a nice little Sony Alpha logo. It's my size too. Ready for adventures. What's this? To Justine from Sony team, that's me. Something in here smells good. It smells very good. Oh, it's from Lush. I love Lush. I know this is a tech channel, but everybody can get behind a bath bomb. Oh yeah, I was like, something smells good. Look at this bath bomb. And some shower jelly, yes please. What a random little gift box, this is so cool. Ocean salt, I haven't been to Lush in so long. I used to just go in there and smell all of their products. But since COVID, I can't do that anymore. Look at that, oh look at this, that smells so good. So that does it here for this quick little unboxing. So excited to get a chance to test this out. If there's anything that you guys would like to see me test, please leave it in the comments below as we will be shooting that video the next couple of days and then I'm off on an, a COVID safe adventure. Basically, just gonna drive around in a vehicle and take cool pictures and videos. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, hit like, and don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. I also have a podcast that I do with my sister. We're gonna be podcasting as we do our road trip. So go check that out. It's youtube.com slash same brain. And if you search same brain, wherever you listen to podcasts, it'll be there. And if it's not, let us know so that we can be there. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.